Hi, I don't know why, but a few months ago I randomly decided that I wanted to make a game. So that's what I did. I had no plan on how I was going to move forward with the game, but one thing I knew for certain was that I wanted procedural terrain, so that's what I did. Following Sebastian Lake's tutorial series, I managed to get procedurally generated terrain working in a few days. After that, I added post-processing, since everything just looks better with post-processing. A little bit of bloom, and ta-da, we have the next AAA title in our hands. Anyways, by this point I realized that I wanted everything to be procedural. Trees, rocks, foliage, whatever. So to start, I decided to make grass. For the grass, I decided to use individual blades of grass instead of using billboards and textures. Uh, this sacrifices a little bit of performance, but it looks great. Either way, I need to use geometry shaders, and since I had almost no experience with shaders, this took a lot longer than expected. The grass works by essentially creating a triangle positioned at a single vertex of each triangle in the mesh, assuming that the vertex's Y position is higher than a specific height. This eventually led to the triangle having many segments, allowing the grass to bend and curve in a smoother fashion. Here's what the geometry shader looked like so far. So we had grass. It just looked terrible, since the blades were too wide and there was definitely not enough. For a while I just used a for loop in order to randomly place multiple blades of grass in each triangle of the terrain mesh. That is, until I figured out how to use tessellation shaders. Essentially, these shaders split polygons of a mesh into smaller polygons. In my case, I had triangles for my mesh, which were then split into much smaller triangles. The tessellation shader essentially made it so the distance between each triangle is set to a uniform amount of my choosing. With this, I had a bunch of small triangles spaced relatively close to one another, removing the need for, for, for a for loop and drastically improving performance. At first, I decided to simply place the blade of grass atop a single vertex of the triangle, but it made everything look robotic, so to make it look more natural, I simply placed the blade of grass in a random point in the triangle. After this, I added shadow casting and receiving for each blade of grass, which is definitely expensive but makes the grass look so much better. Before I could call the grass good, I need to add a few more things. Wind, randomness, and I had to optimize it a little bit. This was relatively easy and didn't really require that much brain power. The wind was done by simply rotating the blades of grass based on a value determined by a noise map. Then came randomness. For clarification, by randomness, I just wanted the density of the grass in certain areas to be different. Having a uniform density made the grass look kind of bland, so I figured having less grass in areas would help. To do this, I multiplied the distance between each blade of grass by a random value from 0 to 1, based on the position of a vertex. For optimization, I made it so the number of segments in each grass would decrease the further away it was from the camera. I also made it so the grass would get less dense the further away from the camera it got. And here's the finished grass. After this, I started working on the trees, like fully procedural trees, and that's for next step log.